Okay. I guess the demonstration the demonstration is uh, pretty evident, but uh, I'd like to to uh, explain you why this is happening, and it is hammer time. So this was an explanation I said to a guy in an Italian group, and uh, people loved it, uh, and I find it pretty pretty clear myself. So let's see why this is actually happening. So let's leave this replay here, and in the meantime. We can talk about it right so let's see this as your car okay this is your car this is where it points and you are going that way down it's easier like this to understand and you have a front engine car so all the weight is here at the front so whatever you do to to turn around the car you see it wants to to go back and you know go down go to the same direction with the weight pointing obviously down always also if the rear end goes away it's easy to get it out of shape but it's also easy to control it you see it's it's very easy to control the weight at the back because it's light it doesn't have too much resistance all the weight is down here so I guess this is easy to to understand right so let's say you're here you see it's it's easy to to do this and control it no no big deal so that's the front engine car this is the rear engine car so you're still going down you're still braking and you're trying to steer now every time you try to steer look at this the tendency is to whoa to completely spin this is what happens when you have the weight at the at the rear right and also when when the the rear weight when the whole thing wants to spin it's it's harder to maintain the balance you see because if you send it on the other way on the other side it wants to go from the other side too it's the typical snap that you have so you're going into the turn it the rear goes away and you are trying to counter steer and it snaps and goes the whole other way and you spin on the other side so you see if it starts to spin like this it goes to go down and you you try to control it, you overshoot it, and whoop, it goes from the other way. That's why the rear ends in cars are uh, so tricky to, to maintain when they start to, to slide from the rear end. Obviously, um, I know that you're asking, okay, uh, why then we make cars with the, the, the weight at the rear? Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, braking is is important because when you brake and you already have lots of weight at the front right you have a very light rear and the rear tires can't brake a lot okay uh, because they tend obviously to lock because they ha do not have enough load so if you move the weight at the back you brake the weight shifts a little bit but still maintains the rear tires down so you can brake in a in a smaller um braking zone in shorter break is on. The other thing which is also very very important is agility. So if you want if you have a front front car and you want to change direction, you need some force. So you need lots of grip at the front, right? You need force. And it's difficult because as you can see you have plenty of of weight here. So it's difficult to to rotate the car. Okay. On the other way around with the engine at the back it's very easy you see it's really very easy to to change the direction so mid-engine cars are much more agile than front engine cars okay so this is why depending on what car you're using you're gonna have to understand what the car is telling you and you're gonna also have to uh, work with the setup okay and uh, find out Right, what can I do to make the car better? All right? Okay, 